Hi guys, so here's the thing. I had no idea how to start these vlogs. I knew that I wanted to do them while I was here, but just had no idea where to begin. So I figured that this would be the best way to at least give you guys a taste of what I'm seeing kind of every day when I'm here and just kind of some of the amazingness of this whole place. It's so incredible, it's so exciting. And I definitely have some great ideas for a lot of these vlogs, vlogs, for a lot of these vlogs. Um, and I hope that you guys can come on this journey with me. It's such an experience here. I mean, I feel like I'm not as articulate as I'd love to be, but it's just because there is something here that just you can't explain and it's just beautiful and amazing. And so I figured this would be the best way to just start this series off. I'm definitely probably gonna end up starting a new channel just for this because I don't think it belongs on my nail channel and things like that. But figured this is the place to start and we'll just have to see how it goes. And like I said, I just hope that you guys kind of enjoy these things and are able to, you know, gain something from this. Sometimes we all want to travel, sometimes we want to go see things and maybe we're not able to. So this is a cool way to maybe experience something else without having to shell out a lot of the money for it. But if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to kind of get some momentum going with these videos and be able to know what you guys are interested in seeing. Just, yeah, <laughs> let me know. Right now I'm gonna head into an accessory shop because they have some amazing accessories in here. So let's see, you know, what we got some here. I mean, they have these super cute bags. I'm sorry, I look like, I think I look like a Simpsons character. I think I totally look like a Simpsons character because the lighting in here is super yellow. Oops. But, okay, here's my first question for you guys. There's two bags that I absolutely adore. There's this one, and then there's that one up there, or there's three. And there's that one. So, which bag do you guys like? Because I definitely want to get a new one, and I think those are super cute. And they have amazing accessories, and hats, and all kinds of things. So, yeah, let me know what your opinions are. Also, I'm hoping to do more of these videos just on general topics about studying abroad. So if you have any specific questions, just let me know. All right, bye guys. Guys, aren't these just the cutest? I adore owls. These are so adorable, so cute. They have some amazing things. Ah, look at. <laughs> Of course, they have a little angel section with all kinds of cute things. Hey guys, so now I'm headed over to Lush because I want to get some jasmine and henna fluffies. You guys know that I lo really have like almost an addiction to Lush. But I want to take Retread back because when I opened it, didn't, it smelled okay at the store because I think all the other flowery perfume smells were theirs. And then they were... Um, Everything was okay in the store. Everything was fine there. But then I got home and I opened it in the shower, like with all the steam, I think. It was the worst odor I've ever smelled. It was so gross. It was so disgusting. I absolutely could not stand it. So I'm just not, I'm not gonna play that game. Um, I'm just gonna come back. I know that I love the Jasmine and Henna Fluffies, so we're going to take that. So here we go. We have Lush, which is the most amazing face. They have some amazing, amazing things for Valentine's Day. So I'm so sad that I am not going to be able to um, have the bag going back there. Hello. Um, someone helped me right away and I was able to get my stuff done. But I want to show you guys they have some amazing products. They have Prince Charming. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's still nice. Of course, it's bringing men. I feel like I look like an... But I think it's comforting and lush, everything kind of looks the same. And you guys know, I, I, I'm gonna have to do another lush haul because they have um, the gold fund, which is amazing and I love it. And this is a new one. I haven't had a chance to try that because I don't have a bubble bath. And sunny side and some just amazing things. Can you guys just imagine all the great stuff? This one smells like snow fairy. It's definitely really nice and good. But I'm gonna head out now and have some more amazing times. Y'all, so we're gonna head over to a shop to look for a SIM card because you do need to either get a SIM card or turn your phone off or bring your iPod or something. Um, but I'm going over to Dry, which is a place that has some really affordable service, and I think that was I was told that was where it was best to get it from. But 
we'll just have to see. And I'll definitely like insert pictures of the different uh, actual plans and things like that. But I think it's gonna look great. Do you see that tower over there? If I can stop my hand from shaking, yeah. <laughs> Looks really cool. Hey guys, okay, so it was just really packed and crowded in there, so I decided to wait because at my school they did give us a temporary SIM card type thing where it had uh, uh, some prepaid minutes and so I didn't have to get one right now, but it's been a while since I had a card and I do know that I do want to go with this service, but I just thought I'd show you real quick. There we go. And so it just tells you, has the information in there and I'll put an insert hopefully of like the different things it offers. Um, but yeah, just enjoy the view, enjoy the amazingness that is this oh, amazing, oh my gosh, look at this. Can you guys see it? I feel like my hand's shaking like crazy. I'm sorry if it is. I will get better at this. <laughs> I promise you, I will get better at doing this. And they have these amazing food stands. <gasps> There's so much that I want to see and do here, and I'm worried that I won't have enough time. I feel like I'm going a mile a minute, and I feel like it's just not going to be enough time. I don't think I would ever have enough time to be here. Oh, it's so great. But no, let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> like the architecture and the buildings. Am I a nerd? And like, am I just a total nerd? But I really do think it's beautiful. I think it's absolutely amazing. All right, I'm going to catch up with my group of friends because they keep running ahead because I'm so slow with this camera. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a second. To show you this amazing art museum. It lights up. It looks so cool, and it's. This is the cultural capital, I believe, at one point, or I don't know if it still is. I should know that, sorry. Um, but I also wanted to show you this just amazing view. You have the river over here. I'm gonna clutch this camera like Millie's business and I'm gonna show you guys. Isn't that cool? Oh my god. So that is amazing. And there's another awesome site over this way. And that thing in the center there, they said that you can actually, I don't know if you can eat there, if you can just go down there, if it's a restaurant, if you take your own food. I'm not quite sure, but it's pretty cool. And then look at this, this is awesome. We have all of these different blocks that people put here. And they put their initials on them. And I think it's so cute. It's so pretty. And a little doggy. There's dogs all over the place. I love it. It's so, oh, they're so cute. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys that really quick because I think it's pretty amazing. So I know I'm like super dark, but I hope that you can see this really amazing um, thing that they put up on the wall. So it's, before I die, I will. And it's just amazing that people have put down like their wishes here or what they will do before they die. And I just wanted to show you guys. I do know they have these sometimes like around New York and stuff. So those are always really cool when you can get, you know, kind of an inside look on what people really cherish. And you see that, you know, cross cultures were all very, very similar. <laughs> Hi everyone. So I was never really sure if I was going to do a vlog abroad. It was something that tickled at the back of my head, something kind of that was always there and I wanted to do. I just had no idea where to start. And then finally someone said something that really got to me and it was, you know, you should do it even if you never post it. Even if it's just for yourself, it'll be something that you're really happy you did. And I was like, you know what? You're right. So I started doing kind of daily video diaries and those are really great. <laughs> those are great to be able to go watch and see, you know, just how things have already changed. I've only been here about two weeks and already things that were a big deal at first are no longer a problem or no longer a big deal but it would have been great to have known about them before so that they wouldn't have been a big deal even in the beginning and that's my first reason for wanting to do this it's to kind of share my experience in that these are kind of the good the bad whatever you know a lot of people really always want to do they everyone always says going abroad was one of the best decisions I ever made and I agree I already feel that way however I do feel like there are certain things that are glossed over because people don't want it to seem like really negative and that's fine however I don't find that very helpful so I definitely want to go into certain not issues but yeah yeah issues or challenges that's a better word challenges that I faced especially when I first got here hopefully that 
it will help someone else. And second was to kind of just document this for myself. You know, of course, you want I want like to retain these memories and make it amazing and just make this time completely worth it. And so I hope that you guys will follow me on this journey. I really do feel like it's a journey for myself because every time that I've traveled, I've learned something new about not just about wherever I've been, because I feel like that's a given, but also about myself. And that may sound totally corny, but it's really true. I've learned, you know, a lot about myself while I've traveled. Um, this is not my first time going abroad, but this is my first time for this length of time. I'm going to be here for six months, and the last time I was abroad, it was in China, but that was only for 16 days. So that was definitely different, and in some ways it prepared me, and in some ways it gave me false bravado, like thinking that I was more prepared than I really was. And so hopefully I'll be able to kind of get into those things, and I have traveled other places too, throughout the US, um, Mexico, and Canada, but I do feel like this is completely different because now it's not just going on a vacation or going for maybe a small study type thing, it's this is now your home for a certain amount of time. So hopefully I can kind of, I don't even know, help someone in some way, that's my, my biggest thing. Now, the other thing that I kind of wanted to see if you guys would be interested in, because I'm going to do it one way or the other, but I thought it would be really cool to film it, would be I got these set of books right before I left, and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with them. It's the Wreck This Journal set, so you have um, Wreck This Journal, Mess, and This Is Not a Book, and The Pocket Scavenger. So I have the whole set, and I, would, I really want to do these while I'm here. However, my favorite one, well not my favorite, but the one that I'm looking forward to doing the most is actually the pocket scavenger because I think that this is like getting a really great opportunity to almost make a scrapbook right away. Um, and so let me know, oops, sorry. Um, so let me know if this is something you guys would be interested in seeing. I think it would be so much fun. I'm really hoping to get the people that I've already met here like in on this. I've talked to a couple of them. They seem on board. So maybe that would be really cool. Uh, and yeah, I just feel like these are such a great way to get out of your comfort zone. So even if you're not abroad, go look for these. I got these from Barnes & Noble, but I've seen them on Amazon. I've seen them at Urban Outfitters. I got them, I got them in the set, but you can buy them individually. So if there's one that you like only want to do, you can also do that. Um, but yeah, let me know. These are such a great way to get out of your comfort zone. I think even if you're not abroad, you should definitely maybe consider getting them and just trying it out because they make you think so outside of the box on some of these things that you're just sitting there like, I never, why would I do that? Oh, because I'm making a resolution to do it <laughs> because I'm making a resolution to kind of try something new. So just let me know if you guys would be interested in having me film kind of my shenanigans, as you will, as I do these. Um, I just think that, that would be a really great thing to do to kind of, I'm going to be doing a lot of like informative videos and trying to be very helpful to people. And I think this will be a great way to kind of make them fun, make other things happen that are joyous and <laughs> not as serious. But I really hope that you guys enjoy these videos. I'm going to be posting this on my first channel, which was, which started for like nails and things. And no, they're not done right now. I'm sorry. Um, I just did a tutorial on like lilies and water, I called it, but I have already taken them off because I'm doing another one. But if you would like to see that, I'm going to link it maybe here. That would, that's a good place. I like that area. So I'll link it right here. Um, definitely go check that out, but I will be posting this on that channel. However, I will be making a separate channel for vlogs and for this whole thing because I don't think it belongs on my first channel. I'm trying to think of a name for that channel. Maybe you guys can give me some ideas. If you did, I would be very happy <laughs> because I am apparently not creative enough to come up with that name. I'm just thinking of using my first name. We'll see what happens. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this very first video that's like this. This one's a bit all over the place. I do apologize for the lighting or the lack of lighting or however it comes across because I'm in this little room where I don't have very much control over that, but I'm definitely going to try and make it better. Um, and so, yeah, let's see where this journey takes us, guys. Come and join me. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think that it will help people because I know it would have helped me to have some of these questions answered. And let's see what happens. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. It's TMNT Cupcake just like it's spelled somewhere around here. 
except on Instagram where the E is a three. And even if I do, well, when I do get that other channel, it's all, I'm still gonna keep all that stuff the same. It's not gonna be like different for different things. It's too complex, guys. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.